All right, guys, Jane the Shaman, we're back with another YouTube video. This week, I want to do a very informative video, and that is on how to get better at skewering, all right? How to progress on a skewer. It's quite a big topic, quite very broad. Um, I'm gonna try my best to cover it all today, and basically just go over what I did in the past to sort of get to where I am today. The first tip, all right, that I could give to you, that I remember that I did myself, was when I started, you know, you focus on enjoying yourself, right? It's a hobby. So you want to start, you want to make friends in the sport. You want to, you know, enjoy skewering. You know what? You want to enjoy getting different skewers. You want to enjoy riding different skate parks. You want to enjoy riding with different people. So that's like the main staple you want to have dialed is just like making sure you're enjoying going to the skate park with your friends. Okay, so the second one, um, from what I can remember, I used to get a lot of like friendly competition going on. So. The friends that I'd ride with, we would see like who can do the trick first or who can do the biggest trick, you know? And I think that progressed me a lot. Uh, so you can use friendly competition, basically find a purpose to progress your tricks, you know, whether that's the friendly competition, whether that's uh, seeing what tricks you're capable of, um, whether that's inspiring to a pro or want to be like someone you look up to or a game of scoot or something like that could help 100%. Yeah, so finding a purpose to progress, that's one of them, another main key. The third one I have is like, take small steps, not big leaps. So um, I remember I used to be like, all right, now I can whip, let's try a backflip whip. Do you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make sense. So take it smart and take small steps. So for example, like add little tricks, you know, do a trick, do it on a different ramp or don't just go from small trick to suddenly trying to mass a trick where it's out of your capabilities. Cause you don't want to, that'll just put you off and make you stop enjoying it. And the fourth one is kind of similar to the third, but it's like kind of be smart with your new learns and be smart with the tricks you can do. So, um, you know, if you get a new learn, don't just like leave it there and forget about it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it on different ramps. Get it consistent and um, then start adding more to it or then start getting another trick uh, dialed. So definitely a, a key one to just like progressing fast and progressing at like a really clean and uh, stable rider is just making sure the new lines you get are consistent. The fifth one I have is foam pits and resi, right? Not everyone has access to these, and I didn't when I was a kid. I know everyone says like, look at the skate park I have now, and thinks it's all down to that, the reason where I am today, which is like completely incorrect. So it's like, when I was a kid, I grew up at a local concrete bowl. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but I definitely found that taking the, the odd trip once a month to the foam pit or the resi, really helped me out you know that's when i could learn the flips the things that i was too afraid to send straight to concrete um so do your best to get to a foam pit and resi as often as you can like i know it might not be accessible but um try your best 100 percent. okay so the sixth one i have is don't play the victim when you're learning a new trick don't be like down hard by not landing a new trick for example because that's when that's when you start relying on new learns to enjoy the sport which is not really the way to go um but my advice if you're struggling to land a new trick is either try on a different ramp um figure out like you know get get a clip of it figure out what you're doing wrong and definitely like be smart with it and identify whether that trick is out of your skill level at that time so as i said at the, at the start like don't go from small to something massive because then you won't you know you can't expect to land a massive trick when you're not progressing that fa fast and skewering so all right number seven is I'd say it's like a, one that a lot of people do nowadays is don't chase a sponsorship, right? So a lot of people think, oh, I want to get sponsored. I want to have this. I want to have that because that will mean I'm good at scooting. So that's not the case. So you really want to just like progress at your own rate, progress at a rate you enjoy and all that stuff will come to you. Do you know what I mean? So enjoy the, enjoy the sport. Enjoy riding with your friends. Enjoy progressing with your friends. And a sponsor, if it does come, it comes. But at the end of the day, like, doesn't exactly mean much. I wouldn't let your happiness in the sport be determined by if you have a sponsorship or not. That's like a big one. Number eight I have is um, entering competitions, right? If there's a competition in your area or somewhere you can access, definitely do it because that will make you look at the sport in a different way. It'd stop you looking at just getting new learns after new learn. Instead, it'll be like, right, what tricks am I best at and what am I most consistent at? And what can I put in this park one after another and land it. Do you know what I mean? It's a way different game. Um, and I think for me, that made me enjoy the sport even more was when I started entering comps because it was like a different different style of training, different style of like mindset towards skewering. And 
for me, that worked out in my favor and I enjoyed that. So that could be the same with you, but definitely try it because it's a good challenge. And I did do a video like a couple of weeks ago about how to do comp runs and like the tips I have. So if you're struggling with comps, go back to that video and check that out. Uh, might help you. The ninth one now is like, once you're starting to progress at a faster level, right? So you're entering comps, you're doing well, you might have a sponsor, doesn't really matter. But once you're at the level, you start to then enjoy taking it seriously, right? That's what I found was um, I used to enjoy, you know, going to the skate park, messing around with my friends. But then as you grow in the sport and as you grow as a person, um, you start to enjoy like going to the skate park to train or going for a purpose. And that's when you start to unlock like new levels, you know, you start to um, track your progression almost and you start to like, you know, really take control of your riding and take control of what you're capable of doing and your new lines, etc. So another, another one to add to that point is a trick list, 100%. That's something that I definitely um, added to my riding for the last like four or five years was uh, because sometimes you get to the skate park and you really follow the tricks you enjoy doing when sometimes you have to push that and you have to say, I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to do stuff I don't want to do. And that's how you progress. And a trick list definitely helps you to do that because it keeps you accountable and reminds you of the tricks you don't want to do. And um, you almost like, have to do it. So you can't exactly force enjoying taking it seriously, but I'd definitely say like entering competitions and like having some sort of pressure on yourself can really like make taking it seriously enjoyment and uh, enjoyful, as you'd say. And that can like do wonders. All right, so one of the last ones I have is you have to like want it, you know what I mean? You have to want to progress. You have to want to be better at skewering. You can't just wake up and be like, oh, I'm skewering because my friends are, or I'm skewering just because it's something I started, now I sort of have to keep doing it. Like you've got to want to keep pushing it and you've got to want to keep pushing yourself and your tricks. So, um, you know, if you don't want it, then maybe figure out a different style of riding or maybe figure out the sport isn't really what you're, you're you're here to do i'd say yeah just wanting to do it is a very big factor um in, in how hard you're working and how fast you progress all right so another one i have and another one that um kind of changed the game for me was when i started riding abroad so i'd go to like barcelona or somewhere else for competition like that was like so good just to get the community and scooting together um and all in a very like hot beautiful country riding around with our skewers like Nothing would be that. And that's really what sparks the, the enjoyment of the sport. And it motivates you to progress, I think, because you want to be better at those sort of events. That's really what I have that I can think of that helped my progression of coming up in the sport from being you know, a little kid that's just enjoyed it to now competing in one of the world championships. So that's really all I can think of that helped me get to where I am today. Um, and once again, I hope it, I hope it helped you out. I hope you can take something from today and like put into your own riding and help you progress as well. But yeah, that's really all I have to say with it. So thank you guys for watching another video. Um, let me know if you want more of these like how-to series. I, I'm quite enjoying doing those and I hope you guys find benefit out of them. So definitely more of the how-to videos to come. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and like, subscribe, do that usual stuff, especially if you want to see some more uh, tutorial videos. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.